Working on about a 1952 Massey 44 gasoline engine. Uh, we've been uh, struggling with this thing for a few months now, off and on. Uh, we've changed it to 12 volt. We got a one wire alternator on it. We uh, did some severe work on the carburetor. The, the float was quite rotten and we soldered that up. Uh, uh, changed it to uh, a 12 volt positive ground. Uh, the owner has made a new mount there for the for the battery. Anyway, we got her got her running, and he's brought it over here. We're going to set the valves. Rubber is pretty nice on the thing. He's got custom rims on it on the front there. That was he for likes bush that, work. that was for, for bush work. He says it's for bush work. Doesn't sink in. Flotation tires. So he used to do a bunch of logging with this, pulling logs out of the yep. out of the bush with it. Skidding them out with the cable. Skidding them out with the cable and taking them to the sawmill. So we did some work on the ignition and we've got the plugs out, did a compression test. The compression test is all even, that part's good. So we've set the valves, we're just going to do a little uh, recheck on them now. So it can't get any simpler than this. There's uh, 14 thousands right away across, you don't have to use two feeler gauges. Uh, everything's out in the open, it's, uh, it's almost a mechanic's wet dream. So I'll get my able assistant to uh, show you on number one cylinder here. We've set set these to 14 thou and we've just got a, if you want to put the feeler gauge in, there's just a drag on the on the feelers. Now that we've got them set, they were all too too wide, more than 14 thou. So. So we've got a good, nice feel on there now, so I'll get my able assistant to uh, turn the engine over. So the next one in the firing order is uh, three, so the firing order one, three, four, two. So we're going to put a finger on for compression here. I can feel the compression. So... A little further? Yeah, a little bit further. Perfect. So what we've seen is... Uh, the running mate, which is number two cylinder for number three, uh, this this came up and the uh, and this one is starting to go down, which I believe would be the uh, the intake. So now we'll uh, we'll check the setting on valve number three over here. Oh, I can't get this one. No, in. no, that's fine because this is the one that's rocking. Oh, okay. Oh, it's in this number three. Having a little trouble here. Can't find the the hole here. <laughs> nice drag. Little less than before, I thought. But uh, yeah, they're they're close. They're they're dragging the oil across there. Okay, so the next one we're going to set is uh, cylinder number four. So again, I'll put my finger over, and we'll watch number one. We want it to rock. So we want the one valve to come up, and I feel compression on my finger. Perfect, right there. It's just. Uh, so the one valve has been coming up, the other one is just starting to go down. So the uh, it's at the top of his exhaust stroke and just going to start pulling in air and fuel on that cylinder. And this should be a top dead center compression for number four cylinder. Yeah. And so the drag's good there. Two? Yeah, so we turn it once more. Which one, which one was I supposed to do? Yeah, number four. Number four. Whoop. The drag is... Still not bad. It's probably about. It's probably a shade. O, it's for shade over fourteen thou, and that's okay. Yeah, that'll be okay. It's not a not a critical. Or sure, a lot better than it was. It must have been twice the settings. So my able assistant is now going to bring it to top dead center number two. There's the compression, and we're going to watch number three for rocking. Just a little bit more and the other valve should start to go down. Perfect. Right there. So now we'll check the settings again on number two cylinder. Drag is good, same as the others. Yeah, it's moving the oil on the plate there. Yep. Yeah, like that. Anyway, that's all there is, quick and simple. And uh, we'll make the old girl run proper yet.